Hey, Bunny, guess what? What? No, you actually have to guess. Oh, uh, white go go boots. White go go boots? Yeah. That is so. You, you know what's funny? Is that that your answer, white go go boots? That was the original title for the miniseries Roots. <laughs> So weird, yeah, it's odd. Like they were going for a real different vibe originally. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and then the director of the miniseries was was at like a, a hairdresser having her roots dyed. Yeah. And she's like, Oh man, I need to dye these roots. And <laughs> and the director said, Dye these what? And, she, and the hairdresser said, Roots, roots, roots. And that's when it hit her. Hey. What if instead of our mini series being entirely performed by elderly Jewish midgets, what if, and hear me out here, but what if we get black people? <laughs> okay. Oh, and then they called it Roots, too. Anyway, it's homework time yet again on the old Pope on Film oh, podcast. Good Lord. Okay. <clears throat> uh, people of the internet, your attention, please. Cease your Tide Pod eating and kindly pay attention. People are eating Tide Pods, funny. <laughs> people are eating Tide Pods. That like is. Them. That is very unusual. Yeah, fuck Tide Pods. Each week, the dreaded Council of Amber's ex-boyfriends selects a homework assignment via the fiery ritual of Carousel, which I vaguely remember being some part of the movie Logan's Run. Yes, it was. Okay, because I haven't seen that since I was like a teenager. I just vaguely remember the fiery ritual of Carousel. So it's, so it's like a reference of something I barely even remember. Anyway, I'm glad that, I'm glad that I got it right. And this week, we are once again making podcast history. Once again, this is going to be an historic episode of the Pope on Film. Yeah. Yes, because I, I am pretty sure that we are about to be the first ever podcast to address a major problem affecting all of America. I am, of course, talking about the plague that is demons, demons. in low yes. transsexual bodies. <laughs> yes, this week we are watching a YouTube playlist of a uh, Oklahoma YouTuber who goes by the name of Yahweh Rules 2. Yes, and this will become important later. Yes. And Bunny, Bunny, honestly, I haven't been this excited and uh, since we accidentally stumbled upon the Mexican-hating ghetto angel that was called Mary Jean Powers. Yes, and didn't somebody show a picture of her? <sighs> when? In one, of these, in one of these, I think they showed a picture of Mary Jean Powers. That, that might be a possibility. That might be a possibility. But anyway, I, I remember... I miss Mary Jean Powers, and I search for her on Facebook all the time. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get to know her sooner. Yeah, yeah. Because cause let me tell you something. Uh, angels regularly, regularly get kicked out of Applebee's. <laughs> that, is something, that is something that I know for a fact, people. I miss that woman. Yes. Anyway, I am so excited about this video playlist, which I called Crazy Oklahoma 2018. And I called it Crazy Oklahoma 2018 because I knew that the person that Yahweh rules to would be able to see what playlist I am creating 
So I wanted to make sure that I called it Crazy Oklahoma and not what I wanted to call it, which was Crazy Oklahoman. Yeah. 2018. Because I didn't want to scare this guy off like a deer. (laughs) So when I first learned about Yahweh Rules 2, I immediately poured over all of his videos. And I, I was confused at first as to, uh, oh, here's just this uh, vaguely dumpy looking guy talking about uh, uh, crazy stuff in his bedroom. And then suddenly, wait a second, now it's grainy footage of an obviously black man. Bit yes. confused as to what happens there. But then he explains it <laughs> in the video. That he that uh, Yahweh rules too. Uh, he he is kind of piggybacking on a bunch of videos from another YouTuber whose name is just Yahweh rules, and and so when this guy decided to come up with his own YouTube page, he just called his page Yahweh rules too. So uh, half of uh, almost half of the videos that this guy has on his YouTube page are literally just him filming someone else's YouTube videos. Okay. Basically, I'm not quite sure I follow. Uh, all of those videos that featured the black guy talking about Illuminati symbols in Happy Days or Illuminati. Oh, okay, okay. In- For some reason, in the playlist that came up with the white guy first, I, I, I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't realize that they were part of the video. I thought it. Oh, yeah. I thought it rolled over to another show. Oh no, no, no! I put those were also videos from Yahweh uh, Rules too. Had kind of a he- graffiti style. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that is also him. So half of this guy's videos are just grainy footage of him filming another person's videos. Oh, man. You, you notice how there are triangles on the walls. Yeah. Of that 70s show. That's Illuminati. Yeah, I don't care what you say. You cannot put up a case for Donnie Most being a woman. <laughs> yeah. You cannot no, do it. No, Donnie Most is a woman. Uh, Henry Winkler is a woman. I think we can all agree to that. Ashton, Ashton Kusher, I'll probably give you. You know, Ashton Kusher, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I can agree to that. And also, whatever the blonde or redhead was from uh, that 70s show, The Girlfriend. Uh, yeah, the really I, tall. She can be a man. That's yeah, I, I thought the redhead was really, really hot. I don't know why they replaced her with that fucking blonde chick. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. I poured over this guy's videos when I first heard about this guy, and then I subscribed to him, and then he followed me back. <laughs> And that immediately freaked me out. So now I'm slightly concerned about this guy now being able to see my kids and have access to my family. But whatever. It's a win-win. Yeah. Yahweh Rules 2 is following me on YouTube. And there's not a lot of people out there who can say that. So <laughs> True. I just hope that I'm not a Target. clone or a robotoid. I'm worried. Apparently, one of the big ways to tell if you're a clone or a robotoid is you have like a bumpy forehead. And I always had a very bumpy forehead. Uh, so I might be a clone and I just don't know it. It's a it's a possibility you would need the Voight Comp test to actually know, wouldn't you? Probably, yeah. You might have to get in touch with Yahweh 2, Yahweh Rules 2 or whatever. Um, Yahweh cheats at Monopoly and, and, and get a little clarification on this. I mean, I think you, you probably have a legitimate claim. I always had two big, uh, 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 these two lumps on my forehead. And I always felt that basically that I had horns that I have horns that are about to come out. Yeah. But they're not ready yet. So that's what these two bumps on my forehead are. Uh huh. Or just devil horns that are just ready to come out. But now I'm worried that, that these aren't devil horns. This is just, I'm a clone. Mm, yeah, yeah. 
we we didn't think much about that in the old days, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As as new technology comes to light, we will make bullshit out of it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I first heard about this guy from an Oklahoma City gay newspaper called The Gaily. Okay. Uh, Gailey dot com helped me a lot with this uh, with this bit of homework. So on January sixth, they posted an article warning about a guy posting hundreds of flyers all over Oklahoma City. Not just flyers; he's not just stapling a piece of paper onto a light post or whatever. They were flyers that were sealed in plastic sleeves to protect from the elements. <laughs> yes. So this guy really went above and beyond to make sure to get his his warning across. Hundreds he, of he fire. had to do with to do something with them after he burned his comic book collection. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Hundreds of flyers. Of things. Yeah. Oh. Hundreds of flyers all over Oklahoma City, and the flyers say "demons in cloned transsexual bodies," and it has this YouTube page uh, on it. And his car, too. His car is also covered with the same statement. He has, like, like, a, like posters on, this, on each door of his car. So he's driving in the clone transsexual body mobile, basically. <laughs> Top that, Batman. <laughs> yeah. The people at Gailey warned their readers, do not confront this man directly and instead report him to the police if you spot him. And then they had the, the, the Oklahoma City Police Department's phone number. OK, sure. But then the next day, Gailey confronted the man going against their own warning and they got an exclusive interview with the man. <laughs> OK. An exclusive interview with Yahweh Rules, too. So I have here, I have the uh, the interview here in front of me. Um, it, there are some really good parts here. Yeah. Uh, the the guy whose name is Alex, he says, getting the truth out is all that matters. And the paper says, I don't understand what message you are trying to convey. Could you explain it? And Alex says, well, pretty much the entire <laughs> population are transsexual clones or robotoids. Uh-huh. Satan 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 turns men into women and women into men. It's hard to know unless you are aware of it. Men and women <laughs> have different characteristics. Men have more of a brow bone. I don't even know what that means. Yeah. More of a brow bone, wider square jaw. Women have sloping shoulders and pointed chins and smaller ears. Women also have smaller eyes. So basically, someone who is a man has the skeletal system of a female. He still has a penis and balls. Same thing for a woman, but the opposite. That is why you see so many feminine men and masculine women. Okay. Also, God doesn't make junk. All ugly people are fake. Same goes for retards. You, you know who has to be behind this. You know who has to be behind this. The village people. The village people, beyond a doubt. People. With the Harlem Globetrotters as their muscle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought that maybe um, like this guy did a bit of peyote and watched a bunch of Marilyn Manson videos. <laughs> yeah. That's a possibility as well. So, uh, uh, God doesn't make junk. All ugly, all ugly people are fake. Same goes for retards. Retards are a mockery of God's creation. Same with deformed people, etc. Their vessels are inhabited by demons. Okay. Most of the population was never real because for thousands of years, real people have been cloned and replaced by demons. <laughs> People get cloned for doing bad things. The devil tempts them to do bad. Also, not having a relationship with God gets you cloned, too. Yeah. People think you go to hell when you die, but Satan has other plans. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've gotten deeper into this, and there are no demons, only empty bodies who are controlled by the devil. We live in a matrix, and Satan is a supercomputer that can control everything, people and animals. Uh-huh, okay. He's got... I, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta give it up to his originality. I'm thinking. Yeah, you gotta you gotta give a hand to anybody who has their own mythology set up. Yeah. Like, wow, this must have taken a lot of work. Like, uh, uh, nice presentation. Yeah. Uh, Good. Uh, I'll give you a B. (laughs) This guy's YouTube videos are ridiculously simple. Most of them are just him in his bedroom talking about how everyone is out to get him. Uh, oh, he hates his neighbor's dogs. Yeah. His neighbor's dogs are in on it. Loud cars. Yep, cars are in on it. Sometimes he leaves his bedroom to film uh, uh, traffic by his apartment because the cars are obviously much louder than usual because cars are in on it. Yeah. Sometimes he leaves his bedroom uh, to film the birds because the birds are being really loud chirping. They're obviously in on it. Well, they're demonic. Yeah. Birds, birds at demonic. Which I frankly kind of expected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I got a sneeze like right on deck, and it's like right there. It's it's in the chamber, <laughs> but it's just it's just it's just pissing pissing me off. Um. Yeah, it, birds, cars, dogs. Yeah. Uh, this conspiracy cars are in on this conspiracy that only he knows about. (laughs) I only put one of these videos on the playlist. One of the things that he does a a, a lot on his playlist is that he will shop at Walmart yeah, or he'll eat at a nice restaurant and he will go pro film the entire thing and put it on his YouTube page in parts. So it'll be like, Shopping at Walmart, part one. And part one is him walking through the parking lot. And then shopping at Walmart, part two is him finishing walking through the parking lot and walking inside. And it'll be <laughs> it'll be up to, like, shopping at Walmart, part 17. Yeah. And it's so weird because he's just, he's just eating food or going to the supermarket. But the whole time he's looking at all these normal people and he's convinced that he's surrounded by clone, transsexual, robotoid demons. Mm-hmm. Basically, this would as make as you really cool. would, yeah, as you would, as any uh, right-thinking person would. This would make for a really good indie script. <laughs> uh, you know, a kind of like a kooky film about a crazy man and uh, this conspiracy only he knows about. I'm seeing Sam Rockwell in this. Sam Rockwell is a, is a damn good choice. He's so versatile. He's so personal. And even Uh, though he's a big name, he still does those like indie art films so that he could still like star in our film Yahweh Rules 2. Yeah. So so he would slum enough to be in this cheap film where it's just him in a in ridiculously sparse bedroom talking about his I would have to suggest that we get on board with the with the conspiracy. And make a more serious film. What well, happens but, if Yahweh rules two is right? Exactly. That's my Shyamalan at the end. Yeah. Oh, That's that you you, you want to use end. that as a Shyamalan? Okay. Yeah, that was my Shyamalan near like the near like the like the beginning of Act Three, where you learn that like, oh my God, he's right. There are all these demon. Uh, robotoid clones all over the place and he's and he is actually fighting all of these beings and they are actually against him but then there's an there's an even deeper Shyamalan where you realize that all of this is just him imagining it and he's in like a mental institution somewhere we Uh, Brazil this bitch yeah so the whole he is right and he is fighting these demons is just his imagination we're brazilling it yeah i i I see where you're going it's interesting it's an interesting place yeah yeah no i've I've thought probably harder than i need to about the script for this movie 
I, I, I would have to agree. I think. But but Bunny. Yes. Let's let's get to the real reason why I made this homework. Okay. When I first saw these flyers, there was a small second or two or three where I honestly, legitimately thought that somehow this was all a bizarre Bob type bit of yours. <laughs> like when I first saw that someone was like, like blanketing Oklahoma city with these bizarre uh, posters of clone transsexual bodies and then uh, leading them to a YouTube page. I'm like, did Bunny do this? Did this? <laughs> Is this something Bunny did? Because I'm not. But then, you know, eventually, I, you know, logic stepped in and I realized that, okay, no, I'm, I, I'm in Oklahoma. You're in Colorado. So, no, this isn't Bunny. Yeah. But then I went to the YouTube page and I watched the videos. And the thing that really blew me away is I marveled at how ridiculously easy it is to portray an unhinged man. <laughs> it's like, true. Oh my, god. oh my god. Either this guy is insane or he's the greatest actor in the world, but really, let's just let's just look at his presentation here. It's literally just a guy uh -huh. and 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 a cam in a, a in like a bedroom you can barely see and yet I am riveted with like fear. Yeah. Cuz this guy you have no idea where he's coming from. You have no idea what he's talking about. Should I yeah. memorize? I need to know this guy's beginning, middle and last name cuz he's definitely going to like shoot up something. So I'm just, <laughs> So like I'm watching these videos and uh, and what I thought was, well, god damn it, bunny, you could do this. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's so simple. You just, you just, uh, you know, find, a, you know, a, 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 an empty bedroom and get a cam and just do a ridiculous close up of your, of your face and talk about how, uh, you know, talk about the insectoid menace. Yeah. And then you like go to McDonald's and you like go pro it. And the whole time you're in McDonald's, you're like that old guy there. He's definitely, he's definitely, he's definitely a clone. Yeah. You know, talking quietly to yourself. Everyone's giving you these weird, bizarre looks, but you want that because that's proof that you're that you, that your conspiracy is right. I'm not saying you have to. Uh-huh. I'm just pointing out how easily it you could do this. Yeah. That's what blew me away by Alex, aka Yahweh Rules too. Like, damn, you make being a crazy conspiracy nut look so easy. <laughs> yes. Yes. You, you, like, like it, it, it's so easy. Blew me away. Blew me away. And also, uh, let me tell you, whatever he's doing is working because some of these videos, when I first set up this playlist, they were seen like 8, 12, 14, 18, 24 times. Yeah. Like Bob's Dirty Short style. And now, like a couple of days ago, I'm watching some of these videos and they're like 125. 307 this one's been seen 500 times like yeah. whatever he's doing it's working <laughs> so like kudos to you alex because mm -hmm. i'm blown away i am blown away i love this man youtube is a very very strange place yeah you, yeah and you just never know what's gonna what's gonna be popular yeah and in seeing his videos, like I was watching, I was watching the playlist and, and Natasha was in the room and she's like, what the hell is this? And I'm like, this is that guy I was telling you about posting the flyers all over Oklahoma City. And they're like, oh, yeah, the clone transsexuals. Gotcha. And then she didn't pay attention. And, and, and she just zoned out until suddenly. Punky Brewster was a popular <laughs> kid's television show in the 1980s and it's riddled with Illuminati conspiracies. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. And suddenly Natasha is just riveted like what the hell is this? And I'm like basically these videos are uh, uh, Bunny pointing out the Mandela effect with the monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Like basically this is some guy copying Bunny. 
Bunny's already done this. Bunny's already halfway there. Yeah. He's already halfway done with his own character based on this guy. Yeah. It would, I'm not saying you have to do it. I'm just saying, God damn, that would be simple. Literally, just a close-up of your face in some room, some badly lit room, and you're just ranting for like 10 minutes about the insectoid menace, and then boom. There you go. You got a new character. It's amazing. Well, I kind of did that with the, with the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect yeah. and the monkeys. Oh, that was a popular one. Yeah. Well, people screaming about how bad it looked and how yeah. bad it sounded. And I was like... That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's it for what I got for homework this week. You got anything you wanted to add to that? Well, just to tack on that, we are very close to having a commercial a 3D animated commercial. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got the set, I've got the character, I've got some of the animation working. Yeah. Well, I've been I've been working on the idea of getting tiny little bits of YouTube videos that you and I, that you have posted from the Pope on film and literally just ripping them and putting them on my own page as an ad for the Pope on film. I already did that. I took the in memoriam that we did and I literally just ripped it off of your uh, YouTube page Uh and I posted it as on my own YouTube page. And I'm hoping that that, that that puts a spotlight onto our thing. Cause literally my two mystery science theater short videos are rocketing my fricking YouTube account. Really? Yeah. I mean, I've gotten, yeah. I've gotten hits on particular things and and have seen no benefit on anything else on the channel. Yeah, no, this is really this is really this is really doing wonders for me. Yeah. So I'm hoping that 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 maybe I can get some of these uh mystery science theater people uh bumped over to the podcast by uh by posting you know, just ripping a few of the videos that we do. Right. And then, and then adding them to my own YouTube page. Yeah. There. So hopefully, so hopefully that will help too. And then whenever you're done with this commercial, I'm definitely bumping that over to mine too. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah. Cool. 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 Uh, hold it's... on for a second. Bunny. Hold on. Yes, Maxwell. Um, it's a special scented oil. It is 100% pure essential oil, certified natural therapeutic. It's a signature cedar cypress. It's a special scent that will help you sleep. Okay. Okay. So, so that smell that you're smelling coming from the thing I put on your chest that will help you sleep. Okay. But not right now, because you need to brush your teeth. Why don't you go brush your teeth? I'll be in there in a sec to help you. Okay? Okay, why don't you go brush your teeth? 30, uh, yes, 30, years, 30 years from now in the autobiography, that'll read as, my father would give me sedatives. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, there used to be me a... out. Sometimes he would read a story. Oh my! My son always wants a, a bedtime story. Yeah. Always a bedtime story. Yeah, yeah. I. But see, so I try and pick the shortest story in the world because I ha- I do not have the time. Yes, I, I am a busy man. I I totally agree. Thank you. You are welcome. And that is it for homework this week. And I honestly and sincerely hope that your eyes, minds, and cauterized stab wounds have all been suitably opened. Ah, but don't think you're getting out of here that easily, Buck Chacho. Don't forget next week's homework assignment. And for next week, next week we're going old school. Because this was a difficult topic. Demons and clone transsexual bodies. I wanted something simple. So what we're doing next week, we're watching an old school educational short, a 12 minute educational short from 1959. It's called The Troublemaker. I haven't seen it before. Okay. 
I'm not sure if it. I tried to pick one that you probably hadn't chosen for like uh for your your Bob's fun time play thing. No, who's he more with it? So I was hoping that that this was a bit of a deeper cut, you know? Yeah. It's called the Troublemaker. It looks to have all of the high class, uh, expensive film quality of a Roger Corman film. So that's fun. Or or how to undress in front of your husband. It kind of struck me as something like that. Yeah. So it's called The Troublemaker. We're going to be watching that and breaking it down. That is next week for homework. So join us next week for more homework with the Popon Film Podcast. And cut on that. <laughs>